Yo, what is up guys, this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest build of the Pixel Experience CF based ROM. And this is the 8th June 2019 build. And you can see the security patch is latest June 5th 2019. And this is the latest CF build of course, as I said again. And the stock kernel over here is per plus kernel. And well, yes, I did like uh, clean flash this ROM over the AOSP based pixel experience ROM which I did a previous video on you can find the like video over here from the cards and I did flash this ROM with the encrypted TWRP so here I am like to talk about the experience whatever I had with the like with flashing this ROM from that encrypted TWRP well I would say that the like experience was a little bit different but it was quite similar if you compare it to the like wiping stuff well First of all, like if you are on the AOSP ROM or if you are on any ROM, like for that matter, right now, and you have the like Peter Studio recovery installed, here is what you're gonna see. Let me like boot back to recovery. So from here, as you can see in the Peter Studio P, if you are already on a ROM and you have set up your lock screen password and stuff like that, or any pin, it you have to enter that pin over here. So let me just enter my screen unlocking pin. So right now, once you have entered your pin, if you tap on right, it will just like decrypt the internal storage. Otherwise, it's not going to decrypt the internal storage. Your internal storage will be encrypted. So you will see all the encrypted folders. But if you enter your password, this is how it looks like. And if you go into install, you will see all the files in the storage. So as you can see, I have the like AOSP build and the CF build of the Pixel Experience ROM and like other stuff like G apps, ANX camera, etc. stuff is there. Now, first of all, if you do not have this Peter's TWRP, just download this Peter's TWRP image, then tap on this install image, then you will find the recovery over here, then just flash that recovery as recovery image. And over here, after you have done that, just re reboot to recovery. And once that's done, just like go to install again, and then just like flash a ROM. You can simply flash a ROM by like normally, however you flash. And if you're going to wipe an advanced wipe, like if you're on a ROM already and if you're trying to clean flash a different ROM or a new ROM, then go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then select Dolby cache system, data and vendor and stuff like that and just swipe to wipe. Once you have done that, like just go to install and tap on whatever ROM you want to install. So after selecting this, just like swipe to confirm flash. Once you have done that, you have to reboot to system. And if you reboot to system and see that you are booting back to recovery again, then you have to format the storage. So once you are booting back to TWRP recovery, whenever you are like trying to reboot to system, then you just have to go to wipe, then format data, then type yes. So after flashing a ROM, whenever you are trying to reboot to system, if it redirects you to the TWRP recovery again, then you need to like format the storage. Otherwise you don't need it. But first thing you got to keep in mind that the new ROMs coming out today, like from now on, you have to like format the storage the first time you flash the new ROMs. Otherwise, like you do not need to like format the storage or else if you do not want to format your storage and you want to stay like decrypted always. So for that, just download the fcrypt uh, disabler. I'll link the zip in the description box below. So for that, go to install, then select the ROM file and then select that fcrypt zip file. So that's how like it won't let your storage to be encrypted. You don't have to enter your PIN or password every time you enter your TWRP recovery. So that is how it is. Now, let me just talk about the ROM. I am encrypted by the way over here. So that is how it is. But even if you are encrypted and you flash a different ROM, whenever you are trying to set up the new ROM, it will ask you for the password before setting up the like lock screen pin and stuff. It will ask you for the password inside the ROM whenever you are setting up like normal Android setting stuff. Well, now let's talk about this ROM. How is this CF build? The latest Pixel Experience CF build is holding up. So here I have installed this ANX camera and this MIUI camera is working fine. This is a ported MIUI camera if you don't know that. And I'll leave the zip file link in the description box below too. So you don't need to worry. And over here, like everything is super smooth. It is like, it does feel a little bit more responsive and optimized than the AOSP build over here that I can pretty much confirm. And it has pretty similar customizations to the AOSP ROM. So nothing is different at all over here. You get like as same as the customizations in the AOSP ROM. So if I just go into the display settings, let me show you. Let me just change this live display to off. The screen was a little bit yellowish over here. So if you, if you go into display, you will see that we have the live display. 
so that you can change the like display profile to like night and stuff we have the notch behavior you can hide the notch if you want to and pocket detection double tap to wake and double tap to sleep on the status bar is there so that is pretty good over here as you can see and the device theme you can set it to dark and stuff like that so the whole settings panel like becomes dark like this and if you like scroll down from the notification panel as you can see even the quick toggles became dark so the dark theme works like pretty fine over here no issues whatsoever and you can change the dark theme style to default or black and we have the accent color stuff too so red cyan pink teal etc color options are there and if you go into sounds there is no like me audio direct over here as you can see there is no me audio direct present over here but the sound output via the headphone jack and via bluetooth both are super fine and the quality is pretty good i would say and it's pretty flat if you do not like flat music then i don't know but it is pretty flat and it is pretty usable and over here we do have the system updated like update checker over here and if you enable developer options you can have this advanced reboot option over here too and we have the status bar option but inside system icons we do not get any kind of like vaulty icon over here that i would say one bummer but yeah there is no vaulty icon up there so only you get the lt icon and you can change it to 4g too so that is how it is otherwise the like everything is working fine even 4g data and stuff and wi-fi and stuff everything is working fine over here and even quality calls working super fine but there is no call recording option in the ui there is the uh, like video calling option but no call recording option in the ui because this is like pure stock android pixel experience and you can install the google cameras too if you want to because camera to api is pre enabled over here and regarding the like button customizations we have the long press for torch in the lock screen and invert layout of this navigation panel is there and if you go to gestures we have the swipe to the screenshot so this three finger screenshot gestures are working fine and the battery life over here is pretty amazing here is the battery life i'm getting as you can see i have almost 60 percent battery left it almost gave me around five and a half hours of screen on time already so no issues whatsoever you can definitely get nine to ten hours of screen on time with this rom and the battery life over here is pretty amazing i would say and other things like the like normal day-to-day -day usage is working super fine and like google pay and stuff is working right out of the box you do not need to worry like you can set up any banking apps in this rom i think and widgets and stuff in the stock launcher is working fine but there is no like scrolling over here to get the notification panel and stuff like that because it is the pure stock pixel launcher pretty minimalistic as you can see you can only change the icon shapes and stuff that is all customizations over here not much customizations are present for this launcher of course there is no double tap to sleep in the home screen anywhere it is pretty fast over here like no glitches or stutters or lags at all over here in this rom here is the android score of this rom even gaming performance is super fine you don't need to worry about gaming performance over here in this rom so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel out there if you have not yet and if this video was helpful to you make sure you hit that bell icon too so that you get notified for the future videos and here's the fingerprint scanner speed quickly over here as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad but it is like not as fast as the aosp i think i don't know but that's like totally my opinion that the fingerprint scanner speed is not as fast as the AOSP variant, I would say. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This is Tito from KD Index signing off for today, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.